Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today's reading is taken from Mark chapter 12, verse 28 to 34. Let's get into the word. This passage, Jesus tells us explicitly our two greatest commandments as his followers. First, to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and all of our strength. And second, to love our neighbors just as we love ourselves. Now, firstly, we will always over, um, overlap this, at least I do. I grew up overlapping this with Moses' first commandment, to have no other God, to serve no other God. Now, how do we instead love our God as Jesus mentions? Notice the interchange between serve and love. I think this is a subtle but good difference that we should make. How do we love our God beyond serving him? Now, I think a clear necessity is to yearn for him and to long for him, to yearn the holiness that comes with loving our God and to long for his presence in our lives. Now, this is beyond serving him because this is beyond having the guilt of sin just because. And I think if you have the guilt of sin that is through yearning and longing for God's presence in our lives, I think that is more substantiated than just having a superficial guilt that was instilled with us through human teachings and teachings of those around us. We must have the love of God to anchor ourselves or else it'll just be guilt. And our God is a God of love. Now, beyond performing rituals for God, beyond seeing the black and white of what we have to do as a Christian, I think more importantly, we have to, through love for God, we see the colors of this world that God has painted it. We have to see the colors of humanity, and we have to see the colors that he has painted us with. Because we can't love all of humanity unless we learn how to love God first. Now God has guided us through our lives in the ups and downs and he was there for us for everything. We must learn to love and learn to yearn for his presence, his active presence in our lives in order to navigate this world that he has created for us and to navigate our lives that he has planned for us. Let us take today to appreciate all that God has provided us with in this life and all of the people and to love them just as God loves them and to love ourselves as just as God loves us and to use our lives as an instrument of not only his passion and his grace but also most importantly as Jesus has said to be an instrument of his love God bless.